Hi, I'm Matt Cuttle, and with your weekly roundup of the latest gaming news, this is EA Update. First up, a few days ago, Bioware officially announced that Dragon Age 3 Inquisition is on the way and set for a late 2013 release date. Bioware General Manager Alan Flynn released a statement saying the team have been listening to fan feedback from day one and connecting directly with fans in an effort to give Dragon Age players exactly what they're asking for, which is, and I quote, a great story with choices that matter, a massive world to explore, deep customization and combat that is both tactical and visceral. Meanwhile, executive producer Matt Dara confirmed the development team are working on a brand new engine for Inquisition using DICE's critically acclaimed Frostbite 2 as a foundation. Dara promises the new engine will deliver better visuals and more reactivity to player choices. Bioware are keen to hear what their fans have to say. What do you think of the announcement and what do you hope to see in the finished game? Let us know in the comments section below. Criterion have released the first video in a Need for Speed Most Wanted gameplay series, giving petrol heads an exclusive in-depth look at the game's single player mode. The video boasts brand new footage of Fairhaven City and also explains how Need for Speed Most Wanted's easy drive system will enable players to experience truly seamless driving and racing without the need to pause the action or leave the expansive open world. To find out how you're going to rise through the ranks of the Most Wanted list, Click the link to see the single player feature video in full. We all know that using public transport for our morning commute is cost effective and good for the environment, but now Guillaume Pierre, lead gameplay scripter on SimCity, has confirmed that this is the case in the virtual world as well. If everyone in SimCity used cars, Sims wouldn't be able to get to work on time, police would lose robbers in traffic, and rubbish would pile up as garbage trucks can't make their rounds. So, smart SimCity mayors can draft in a variety of public transportation options, ranging from shuttle buses to heavy rail trains and beyond. Check out Pierre's full blog by clicking the link. The internet has been all a flutter this week with the announcement trailer for Fuse, the game formerly known as Overstrike. Players can join up with up to three friends in co-op to form the elite contact team known as Overstrike 9, who are drafted in to retrieve a volatile alien energy source that has fallen into the wrong hands. Cue explosions, rogue corporations and insane Fuse-powered weaponry and technology combining to form a rather heady gaming cocktail. Molotov cocktail would probably be more appropriate. Finally, we've tidings of a double threat of not one but two new Medal of Honor Warfighter videos. The first is the Basiland single player trailer, which features intense gameplay inspired by actual events. The other video is the fourth episode of the SEAL Team 6 combat training series, which sees real life former Navy SEAL team operators talk about their elite roles as assaulters. Click the links to experience the front lines for yourself, but be warned, watching either or both of these videos may increase your excitement of the game by tenfold. You've been warned. That's all the gaming news for this EA update. Don't forget to click the subscribe button there, and we'll see you next time.